Today we'll be drawing a shiny pearl inside the shell using Procreate Symmetry tool, which is also known as mirror drawing. Before we start, you can download the brushes and color palette I'll use in this drawing at the description below for free. If you share your drawing on Instagram, please don't forget to tag me at Tettyworks. This way I'll be able to see it and share it in my stories. Without further delay, let's get started! The canvas size is 2000 by 2500 pixels. In the beginning let's pick this dark purple color and drag it on the canvas to fill the entire layer. This is the background for our drawing. After that I will create a new layer and I will go to Actions, turn the drawing guide on, go to Edit and I will pick the Quadrant option from the Symmetry. On this new layer I will draw with the light orange color using the script brush from Calligraphy. We start drawing from this vertical grid line going to the left. Then drawing these curves going up and more up and connect then fill. I'm creating a new layer selecting clipping mask and don't forget to turn the drawing assist on. On this layer I will draw with the dark orange color and I will be using the noise brush from touch-ups. Let's set the brush size around 20% and we'll draw on the edges, adding some shading here on top and also here at the bottom, this way. And now I want to add even more shading on a new layer, which is also clipping mask and the drawing assist on. Let's switch the blending mode to multiply. As you see, what we do on the left side is mirrored to the right and also to the bottom. Now let's pick eraser and I will erase these parts. The eraser is set to soft brush and full opacity but very low size because we don't want to damage the shading. And I will switch back to the brush to add these parts here. And more at the bottom. On a new layer, which is also clipping mask, I will pick this light color, reduce the brush size, oops, I forgot to turn the drawing assist on, and now I will draw these curvy lines here. We use full opacity but low pressure when drawing. And now let's reduce the opacity and add some light areas here on the shell. We are creating some contrast. Fine. I'm creating a new layer below these layers and go into drawing guide to change the symmetry to vertical. On this new layer I will be drawing with this color and using the script brush. Let's set the drawing assist 
and this time it will look like this we are connecting the edges here and also here and I drag the color inside the shell doing the same with the lower part let's connect here and fill I want to add some shading inside the shell for that I will create a new layer and select clipping mask using the dark color I will uh, pick one of my fabric textures but if you want you can use the soft airbrush or noise brush or any textures from Procreate that you like just add in some dark areas here inside the shell using low pressure and low opacity add in slightly and on a new layer which is also clipping mask and set to multiply I will add even darker areas here and also at these parts to create some depth let's merge these layers and go to eraser set as soft brush full opacity and I will turn the drawing assist on let's erase here this way and here now I will lower the opacity and using the low pressure I will erase these small parts here inside in between these lines now full opacity back again and I will do the same on the lower part of the shell let's lower the opacity again and erase here creating some angle for the viewer in this way now it's high time to draw the pearl on a new layer and with this color I will just draw a circle using the script brush I tap on the canvas to make it perfect and I drag the color inside the pearl let's move it a little bit here in the center and I want to add some lighting and shading on a new layer with this light color and I will use the soft brush for that drawing this light spot here and one small here also the shadow with this dark color below the light spot and let's blur it around 10% I'm creating a new layer and selecting the light color again this time I will set the blending mode to add and I will draw these light spots again and blur them once again this time around 42 percent let's add also some shadow under the pearl on a new layer
using the soft airbrush let's set it to multiply also low pressure Now I will create a new layer between these two layers, set it to multiply, we'll be using this dark orange color and one of my seamless patterns from the new brush set which you can download in the description to this video. And now we can merge all the layers. I will duplicate it and go to the lower layer and flip it vertically then move down this way and I will erase the part of it using the soft brush eraser we are creating a reflection this way I will create a new layer now select this color and I will be using the script brush to draw the water plant Let's fill this layer and I will create one more layer below to draw the back of the plant. Also fill it with the color. After that I will draw the stem. I will increase the size and draw like Let's create a new layer above this one, select clipping mask and this violet color. I will be using the soft airbrush, reduce the opacity, just add in some color slightly on the left side and I will blur it this way. Then I am creating a new layer clipping mask and with the light color and the script brush I will draw some lines over here three four now I want to turn the alpha lock on for that I just swipe to the right with two fingers and with the violet color and soft airbrush I will draw as you see we draw only within these lines let's do the same with the other layer first add in some color here on the left side I will blur it and after that on a new layer set as clipping mask I will draw these light lines using the script brush four five six okay and I will do the same, swipe to the right with two fingers to set the alpha lock and I will add the violet color using the soft airbrush here on top and here. I want to add some dark color on the stem on a new layer 
which is clipping mask. I will draw here on the right side of the stem. Don't have to be precise, we will blur it. And now I will draw one more plant on the layer below the shell. Draw like this. And drag the color. Let's fix some small parts here. I will draw the stem on the layer below this one. Now I will do exactly the same as I did with the previous plant. Add in some color here on a new layer blurring then add in a new layer clipping mask and with the light color drawing the lines you can make them bigger or smaller it's up to you Swipe to the right and add in the violet color on top. Also some shading on the stem. You can do it using alpha lock on the same layer but as I told you before, I like to work on different layers because I change the blending modes, the colors, etc. etc. The plants are done, and now I want to draw a few bubbles here on another layer. Let's draw a circle. We can go to edit shape, pick circle, then fill it. And I will erase a part of it with the eraser set to soft airbrush. Erase this way. And on a new layer I will add this light reflection with the ellipse shape. Let's move it here and rotate a little bit. Then fill. Let me fix. Okay, now we can merge these layers. Let's move it here. Now I will duplicate this layer and move one bubble here. If you want to duplicate multiple layers, you can group them, then duplicate, or you can simply select these layers and drag them. Let's make it smaller. Let's move this one here. Just placing the bubbles randomly different sizes. You can make as many of them as you wish. Now I want to group, duplicate the entire group and mo move the group here. Let's merge and I will add some tiny bubbles 
seen as dots here. We have enough bubbles, I think, and now we can work more on the background. I will create a new layer for that. Select this color and go to spray paints to pick the flix brush. Let's draw on the left side with this color and then with this violet. I will draw on the right side using the low pressure. Then I will create a new layer and with the dark color and the blending mode set to multiply, I will be using the soft brush and draw here at the bottom of the canvas. And with this light bluish color I will add some color variations here on top. Let's blur the layer around 52%. And the final step, I will draw a few more stems on the background. One here and another one over here. We are done. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notifications. If you use any of my brushes or follow any of my tutorials and post your work on Instagram, tag me at Tettyworks to get featured in my stories. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in comments. See you in the next tutorial. 